Hey YouTube, it's Travis uh, with Midnight Sun Pools and Spas here. Uh, I'm just gonna do a little video here of how to do your initial chemical setup and run through the operation of the Froggy system that we use on our 3 and 4 series Jacuzzi hot tubs. Uh, it will operate basically the same uh, for any hot tub, but there may be a few changes, but for the Jacuzzi, that uh, 3 and 4 series, uh, I'm going to show you how to use it. So, you know, I, I understand when people first get their hot tub, they're excited, they're, you know, there's a lot of activity, and then when we do the spa orientation, the hot tub's full, it's, the waterfalls are running, the lights are on, that sort of thing, it's exciting, and sometimes we don't take everything in that we need and we have questions down the road. So I'm going to go through this with you. Um, you're going to fill your hot tub up to the bottom of the pillows and then once your pill, your water is at operating level, you're going to turn the power on to the hot tub and get things circulating. You're going to throw a half a bottle of metal control. This is a stain and scale preventative and this product is gonna prevent uh, calcium deposits, things getting deposited on the heaters, the surfaces. Uh, so we do a half a bottle of this. This is also gonna help to remove metals and uh, minerals out of the water that we don't want. So you're gonna put a half a bottle of this in. Uh, then we're gonna add a water clarifier that uh, is four in one is the typical one that we use. We also have a product called Unique. They're basically in the same family, just different manufacturers. Uh, we're gonna put about four to six ounces of water clarifier in. Um, if you have really good, clean, clear water, you could probably reduce that by half. But, you know, we're based out of Minnesota here and we have a lot of iron in our water. So this is gonna help uh, chelate that iron out, allow the filter to pick it up. Um, so that is a product that you're going to want to add right away. And then we get into the frog ease aspect of everything. And so you're going to get two boxes with your kit. One is going to contain a mineral cartridge, a chlorine frog ease cartridge, the smart chlor cartridge, test strips, and then a little packet of what is called startup. So you open this up. There is a chlorine cartridge, there is a mineral cartridge, and then, as I said, there's test strips and jump start, which is the chlorine. So uh, that comes in one kit you can purchase here at the store. We can ship them. If you're uh, wondering how this all goes, here we go. So the bottom of each one of these cartridges has a dial. And what this dial does is it, it opens a valve down here in the bottom that allows the water to get, ex or the chlorine to get exposed to water. I always set, set up both of these wide open, um, seven on both of them. And once you open those up and you get the dial set, the, the blue cartridge goes on the bottom. That lasts four months. This uh, uh, chlorine cartridge uh, lasts, it, 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 the, the chlorine cartridge is gonna be a variable, but three weeks is what the average we see it. Uh, some people that have higher bather loads or you know, don't clean themselves very well before they go in the hot tub, this could be as short as two, two and a half weeks. So you're gonna put this on this, uh, little cartridge holder and that's going to go on one of your filters. Now the filter that you want to put it on, if you remove your filters and you look down in the bottom, the one has like a mesh grate, that is your circulating and heating system. We want to always put this on the other one uh, that is wide open. The reason for that is it can cause some flow issues. Uh, it's very seldom that that's the problem, but I have seen uh, where this being on the in the wrong filter location can cause some flow issues. So <clears throat> now that we've got this in the hot tub, we're gonna, and uh, on the filter, we're gonna add Jumpstart. Now Jumpstart is sodium dichlor. Uh, this product is put in the water so that um, it brings the level of the chlorine up to an operating level so that once this starts 
having access to the water and eroding that chlorine, it's going to maintain that. So you just add this right into the water, turn your jets on. Now you're up and running. Um, so on this test strip, these are a little different than standard chlorine test strips. So on the top is your smart chlor level, which is ideally your chlorine level. And instead of it having, uh, you know, five different levels, you know, from zero to 10 parts per million, Smart Chlor is a, a, a very unique product where the chlorine goes into the water and kind of lays dormant until it's exposed to, you know, bacteria and, you know, contaminants, basically. So when we test, we want to make sure there's a little green, uh, square up here. We want to make sure that that color is darker than what you see here. If it's the same color or lighter, um, that means that you need more of this. So we offer, or we, we put in your, uh, startup chemical kit when we deliver a hot tub, a product called Dichlor granules. It's actually the identical same product in the bag as it is in here. So if for some reason you've got all, you know, a low level, you can always add this to get that up. So once you get that dialed in, you want to get, hit your, your pHs and your pH ideally would be at 7.2 to 7.8. Okay, so if, if you initially fill it up, I always uh, do my chlorine, or excuse me, my pH levels the following day so that the wa water's at operating temperature. I think you get a lot more accurate reading. I've seen water that was high pH heat up and it actually fell into the perfect level and vice versa. So I know it doesn't seem right, but pH is affected by temperature. So let's say day two, everything's looking good. You used it last night, you come back, you hit a test strip in the morning and you test your pH. Your pH uh, can be raised and lowered with these two products. One is pH increaser, one is pH decreaser. So this lowers it, this increases it. You want to keep that pH in that ideal level because if you get too low, that can affect how the chlorine uh, feels on your skin. But almost more importantly, it can affect your cover, your pillows, your heaters, your pump seals. It's really about the longevity or the lifespan of your hot tub. A, a proper pH level that's maintained through the life of the spa is going to mean way less money out of your pocket because you're not deteriorating pump seals, you're not eating through pillows, that sort of thing. So I typically say a cap full of either one of these should raise it one uh, level on the test strip. Um, decreasing pH, I find uh, do it a little bit slower than low pH. Um, when you decrease pH, it seems like it takes eight or 10 hours for it to settle and, and do, to get, to give you a good reading of what the actual pH of the water is. So don't add this and then 10 minutes later, come back and go, oh, I still got high pH and add more because in 24 hours, you could be down on the bottom of the scale. pH increaser on the other hand, uh, seems to balance out a little sooner when you're adding pH with the pH decreaser. It only takes about four hours and then you get a good reading. So keep those levels in the proper area. Uh, when we deliver, uh, we also give you the Midnight Sun uh, Frog Treatment Plan. And basically the front of this tells you what I just explained with initial startup. And then on the back is going to be your uh, maintenance or what you need to do after the initial startup. So I always tell people set a timer uh, on your phone to remind you to check this cartridge because if you fall behind on the silver cartridge, you're going to have water clarity issues, foaming issues. So always uh, check that and if you pull it out and you can hear lots of pellets in there, put it back in, check it in a week. If it seems like it's really, really low, um, I would, even if there's some pellets in there, I would replace it and I would just put this somewhere in the hot tub, even in the filter canister on the side or something, just so we're not wasting product. But I don't think if it's very few pellets, it's gonna be enough 
to make it another week. You don't want to fall behind because this is such a low chlorine level. So ideally the frog operates at one part per million or less and on average uh, a, a hot tub that's chlorinated the traditional manner with just dichlor we like to see that three to five parts per million. So you know you're three times the chlorine level in a standard style so you have a lot more reserve where if you run out of this you're going to you're going to have water issues. So just keep your eye on this. This is a super important thing. So let's say, oh, I gotta, I gotta replace this. It's time, you know, we're three weeks in, it's ready to replace this. You just pull one out of, uh, in the kit, we give you a three pack of these. So basically when, when we show up and deliver your hot tub, you're, you've got basically four months of chemicals as far as, you know, everything that's included. I shouldn't see you for three and a half, four months. So when you pull this uh, out of the bag, uh, set the, that valve to the right level, put it in there, and then what you're gonna do is we also include these little packets, and it's called Maintain. And what this is, is uh, a non-chlorine shock. Uh, we have it bottled as Oxy Plus. So we just give you the bags uh, on the initial when you purchase the hot tub because this is pre-measured, it's easy, you just gotta find the right bag of stuff and dump it in. This is a lot less expensive way to purchase this. I believe these are five or six dollars. This is $24 and you get two pounds in it. So <clears throat> I purchased my Oxy Plus bottle versus these packets. You can do it either way. This just saves you a little bit of money. Uh, pretty much proportionally, one bag of this is one cap full, so it's easy to use. So you just rip that bag open, sprinkle it in the water, run your jets, and you know, if your your uh, pH levels and, and everything on the test strip are dialed in and everything looks right, you're good to go for another three weeks. So what I will say is because we're running at such a low level and let's say, oh, we left on Friday and rem my reminder, uh, didn't come up till Sunday and I wasn't home till Tuesday, you may fall behind on chlorine. And that can show itself for sure on the test strip, but just in the water can can create more foam than normal uh, or any of those things, you know, it doesn't smell right, doesn't feel right. This product here is going to bring it back to where it needs to be. So if you're really far behind to where it's like cloudy water, you may have to put two or three capfuls of this in there just to overcome that. But uh, I would tell you know somebody that says, yeah, I just got a little bit of foam and it, it, it's not super horrible. Um, what do I do to, to rectify that? I always give it a capful of chlorine, let it go for 10 or 12 hours, and then see how the water looks. Typically in this system, if you run low on chlorine, uh, you will get some weird foam and it, just a cap full of this will straighten right back out and you're off and running. So I hope this has been helpful for you guys. Um, if you have any questions, we're always available here at the store, 218-833-1000 or you can call our Bemidji location at 218-759-8518. Uh, we are opening a store in Duluth in the spring of 2023, but I don't have that phone number right offhand. So um, if you have any questions, you can call either store, and we are happy to help you. I hope you guys found this uh, helpful, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.